Hi guys, John here. This vid is a triple trophy guide. We're going to be grabbing Exquisite Blood, a perfect test subject, and an eye for an eye. This all revolves around 100% blood on someone that you're going to charm and obviously going to drink from as well. Now this is going to be slightly different, or actually very different, than the PC version which everyone is used to, which is actually why I'm making the video because I've had a lot of questions asking where certain buildings are because they are just completely different. For example, the blood altar is not even used anymore to locate the vampire. So what I'm going to do here is take you step by step on how to get this trophy or get those three trophies and let's get into it. So for starters, you want to go to the V blood. Now this has actually taken over the blood altar. The blood altar doesn't exist anymore. And I'm just going to show you once how to find any random 100% um, V blood person. So if you go to, let's say Octavian right here, click on him. At the bottom it says track blood, push X. And now you're tracking him. So what I do is I wait for the first blood to come out. As you can see, it says it's in that direction. So I go to my teleporter and I can see my guys in that direction. So I open the map and I am pointing, where am I here? I'm pointing in this direction. So what I do is just go as far as I can and for example, go over here. Let's go over here and have a look. So I'll go into my way gate and I'll go right over here. The, the icon actually stays there, it's pretty good. And then if you look on the top left corner distance nearby, now, if it says close, nearby, imminent, then you can go from this point and just follow this blood trail. It'll take you straight to the source. If it says still very, very far away, then jump back on the teleporter and either go back towards the way you came or go further away. So that's pretty much the gist of how you actually find the guys now. Um, and let me show you one last thing. You can't just look for anyone all the time. If you go to your blood tab again you can see here i can get him i've taken him out already then over here it has angram the purifier and that's matched under 61 it says matched then over here it says matched then formidable and then formidable and if you go further up it'll actually stop you being able to track so level 70 is too high for me at the moment and i have to get some more of these guys before i'm actually able to track the fellas up here now i'm going to release a video on um, all of the not really the locations because obviously you can find them very easily but uh, the um, the back boss battles and what these guys unlock if you can't actually see them yet because I would love to have known a couple of those uh, when I started this game. So the first thing you want to do when you want to start these three trophies is get to the point where you can attack Vincent the Frostbringer. Now on my game he was about level 44. There he is right there. And if you push the square button straight away it's going to have prison cells. Now this is going to be the start of you being able to get someone back to your base and getting three of these trophies. So I'm not going to show you the battle, but once you've taken him out, you can build your prison cell. So over here are where my cells are, and I'll get into specific detail on how you actually get guys in here. But the hardest part about this whole thing is actually going to be finding someone that is 100%. Now, they are completely random. There's no point in even showing you on the map where I got mine. But I might put up a map at the end showing potential locations. But all you have to do, guys, to be honest, is roam around the more hardcore areas in the north. And they're bound to come. So on the console, if you hold down square button, you get your powers. Your transformation powers, your horse powers. And the bottom right corner for me here is blood hunger. So if I activate that, bang. I can see the percentage of blood quality that these guys have. And I did find one guy here. He's probably the, the least efficient, really. But uh, instead of having to use uh, hearts and other blood essence to actually fill my blood on the bottom left hand corner i just come here take some blood from this dude and drink that now i should actually have some on me but uh let's change into a wolf because that always goes much quicker uh, let's see over here i have a blood chest so here he has all the blood chest so i don't have any at the moment but you get a glass bottle empty glass bottle and you can fill it up by not killing him just by taking some of his blood let me just show you quickly so i've got an empty bottle here I click on him and now you get a whole bunch of options. But I'm actually getting ahead of myself here. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get him into the prison cell. And then I will come back and show you how to do this. Right, so after you've done all of the prison cells and the building of the prison cells, always make sure you've got one or two uh, cells that are vacant so you can actually send people back. But uh, you wouldn't be able to do this just yet because Leandra, the Shadow Priestess right here, she's going to have a recipe for you for something called a Dark Caller. What this is going to allow you to do, actually, is to teleport, instantly teleport one of your charmed individuals straight into a prison cell. So I can see, I think you can see where this is going. So once she's down and dusted, extract her blood, and then you will have the recipe. It's not going to be that easy, though. There's always one more thing or two more things you have to get in this game to craft anything. So once you go back, head to your alchemy table, and you can see the recipes there, dust caller. But there's something we haven't come across yet, and that's the scourge stone. 
So, like any item on the map that you want to find, all you have to do is head to the map, hover over the yellow areas and tells you exactly what's inside. So let me just show you one location where you can farm scourge stones. Now remember, when you go there, you want to break all items, all boxes, everything. Anything that's breakable can pop a stone out. Once you've done that, head back to your alchemy table and craft them. Now, you will craft five at a time, so you're not going to be running short of these anytime soon. I've only got about seven or eight uh, prisoners at the moment, but I only ever use the one. But I'm pretty sure on the more difficult levels, you have to be more precise and more strategic on uh, which blood you do, because they, um, they will uh, buff up certain things, and uh, other ones will buff up other things. So depending on your playstyle, you can choose what to buff. But as you can see here, we are crafting the Dust Caller. Once we've got that, at this point, you can actually get the Blood Donor Trophy, which I'll show you right now. But uh, you can wait until you find a 100% uh, blood quality individual because uh, you'll get the trophy with that as well. But this one you can pop out straight away as you get to this point. So charm someone, which is something you learn hours before this, and then use the dust caller. I've got it as a shortcut on the bottom left over there as the left on the D-pad. Uh, used it on that guy, then head back and bang, he's right here. And over here, because he's a crap, he hasn't got a good uh, blood quality, I just extract and that kills him. And then you get the blood donor. So you can polish that trophy off and pop that out before uh, you actually wait until you find the 100% blood quality. All right, next up, we're going to find the 100% blood quality. Now, as you can see, I found someone there. And again, showing the map is useless. It's completely RNG. So this is up in the north. One of the first times I went up here. The idea here is to isolate them. And that's going to be quite difficult. But uh, kill everyone else around him. Then make sure you charm him. Because uh, there's a trophy for that right there, an eye for an eye. So don't just drink his blood because you won't get the trophy. You have to charm this person for the trophy. And then once again, you can use the dust caller to send that 100% blood quality source straight back as your personal blood fountain into your castle. So head back to your castle and he's going to be chilling right there. Now you must be careful because you don't want to kill him. I'm still feeding off this guy uh, 20 hours later because he is a brute. He is one of the best ones you can get, so I've been told. And as you can see here, there's a whole lot of options like we were before. So extract blood, you don't want to do that because that might just kill him. The first thing you want to do is heal him. Now, the rats are the most simplest way to heal your guys, but uh, once you start fishing, and then you should fish. Every time you go past a water source, if you see bubbly water, fish. And I do have a video up on the location of the fishing rod, rod and how to uh, actually acquire it. The fish will have different um, buffs for the actual prisoner. So some will just heal him like the actual rat does here. But some of the fish down the bottom you can see there will heal and remove misery. Misery will increase every time that you feed off him. So at some point, you're going to have to reduce his misery. Otherwise, it's going to be toast. So once he's full health, do the blood potion. Make sure you have an empty flask and the blood potion there it is at the bottom of the screen on the cell so we're going to go down to the bottom over there and grab the blood potion 100 percent you can see it there eventually take it there we go and now all you have to do is drink said blood and you are done and dusted and you'll have this blood source this is all i do i don't eat hearts anymore or anything i just have my trophy um, or at least have my inventory full of those things the trophy pops right there exquisite blood there we have it guys if you have any questions at all about this trophy or about any of these trophies please knock me up in the comments section i'm always going to reply so pretty please smash the like button if you did find it informative and uh, you managed to smash out these trophies but thanks so much for watching guys and i want to catch you on the next one